All right, I'm gonna do a quick run through of how I play uh, Tennessee Waltz. Sorry if it's a little bit dark in here. Let me see. Turn a little bit of light on. Probably didn't help much, but Tennessee Waltz. Um, it's in. I don't think this is double C, but it's the same same tuning. This is probably down two or three steps or whatever. Um, so. So Tennessee Waltz goes dun da dun 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 da dun dun. So it's that's the uh, fourth string, second fret, all the way up to the fourth fret, and then to your third string, and then do that again, and then second string, and then first string, and then first string, second fret. Do a pull off hammer on, and then hit your up here, or you can go to here to the fifth position. You're gonna go do this little chord shape, which is um, first string, second fret, third string, second fret, and then you go third string, second fret, third string, fourth fret. And second string and then third string again then fourth string fourth fret third string open third string second fret third string open fourth string fourth fret second fret so that's the first part I'll just play through it real quick So you play through it a second time, but at the end of the second time, you're gonna go. So that's third string, second fret, thir uh, third string, fourth fret, and then second string open, and then third string open, and then fourth string, fourth fret, and then third string open, and then fourth string, fifth fret, and walk, and then slide that down basically. So fifth, fourth, second, open. This is the second part. So let me start that over. And that, so you play that just once and then you go back into that second time through of that, that first phrase. So I'm teaching you this in the three, four time. So that's why I mostly do it in two finger, but so that sort of second bit there goes, you're just gonna kind of walk this up and then go to the first string of the second fret and into the fifth fret and then back to the second fret and then open and then open again. So you're gonna do that little ditty and then 
the second string. And then third string, second fret. And then second string again. And then third string open. And then you're gonna go up and down. See how I did that? It was third, third, second, first, and then second, and then third. And then you're gonna go fourth string, fourth fret, third string open, third string, second fret, third string open, fourth string, fourth fret again, fourth string, second fret. Do that little. Mm. And then you pretty much have it. That's the whole song. I'll play through the whole thing once, and then I'm going to show how I did it in a 4 4 time. the song again one more time. And then you finish it out with the dun -dun -dun -dun, and then right. So that's Tennessee Waltz in 3-4 time. I usually finger pick that. I can play it overhand. I'll try it real quick. So to do it in that sort of swing 4-4 four four that I do, I just kind of stretch everything out. It's all the same fingerings, but...
took that same 3-4 version of the song and I kind of just stretched it out to make it a 4-4. Four, four. So it's kind of like I've added, so instead of going dun 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 dun, I'm going dun 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 dun. So, you know, it's dun 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 Um, see, I'm stretching it out to make it 4-4, four, because four, it works better with, you know, your your old-time bum ditty that... Because you pretty much only play that in 2-4 or 4-4 four, four time, in any case. That was Tennessee Waltz. I uh, hope that helped, you know. Uh, let me know if you got any questions.